Hello, I'm Ed Turner, the creator of Insects in the Museum. Hopefully you've all enjoyed looking at some of the wildlife in your garden in a bit more detail over the last few weeks. One of the species we particularly flagged up, those butterfly species, is the orange tip. A wonderful springtime species and hopefully a lot of you will have seen the males with those wonderful orange tips flying around your garden. Of course the females have also been there, although they're a little bit more cryptic, a little more difficult to see. They haven't got the orange tips, they're just a pale white and they've got beautiful um, greenish coloration on their wings, the underside of their wings. Of course one of the things they've been doing is looking for their food plant, and particularly they've been laying eggs. Um, and I've got an orange tip, it's a very subtle bit of wildlife, an orange tip egg I've found in my garden, I'd like to share it with you. Um, let's see if I can change around. So this then is the food plant of the orange tip butterfly, a thing called jack in the hedge or garlic mustard. And the thing to do is, just to look at, is the, is the flower head itself, just here. So the butterflies always lay their eggs right on the flower head because the larvae then hatch and they'll feed on the developing seed pods, which is what you can see here in this garlic mustard. It's a lovely plant, um, it'll be very common um, in lots of gardens, especially if you let it seed, it seeds like nobody's business. Um, and you tend to get just one egg per plant. And the reason is that when they hatch, these um, larvae are cannibalistic. <laughs> so they'll eat their any other eggs which are found there. Let's see if I can find the egg for you. It's just dotted on the other side here. Let's get a little focus. So I'll get my finger behind. There you go. Can you see it just in front of my finger? So there's a wonderful orange egg for an orange butterfly. And if you can look at that in a little bit of detail, it's got it's a beautiful sort of amphora shape. Um, so it's a really lovely thing. All of the eggs of the white family, the periods are shaped like that. So the same as your cabbage whites, your small whites, your large whites, same shape egg. But this the orange tip egg, a beautiful orange colour. So a lovely little bit of cryptic wildlife for you to have a look for in your garden over the next few weeks until the eggs hatch. When they do hatch, the larvae themselves are really beautiful as well, so a beautiful two-tone larvae. Very pale, uh, limey green on the upper side, and then a darker green on the underside, so have a look for those as well. 